welcome to the great big card swap. This is part two of the February 2022 showcase. And I just have to say, I'm filming this on two, 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 two. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a fun Tuesday this has been. I'm so glad you're joining me tonight. So usually I pre-record the swap videos because we've had some problems with um, things, you know, being funky or out of focus and stuff during a live video. So we're going to try live again. Hopefully it is going to work okay tonight. Um, let me know if you're having any problems though, and um, <laughs> we'll just get, we'll get through it together. I'm really excited to share with you. Today is part two of the February showcase and February 2022, the theme for our great big card swap was flowers. So I have 65 cards to share with you tonight that are all using flowers. I'm really excited about these beautiful cards, and I know you're going to be so inspired by them as well. Now, if you haven't participated in a great big card swap, um, this is how it works. You send in a card, you get to see them all, and then you get one back. So what does that mean? Starting in March, we are going to limit to just one card per person. So you will just send one card, um, and then I get to show you all the cards in our video showcase, and then I mix them up and I send them back. So um, I try not to have a whole lot of rules. I really just want this to be fun. So you can use Stampin' Up, Not Stampin' Up, Retired, Stampin' Up. You can use whatever you have at home. We just want you to make cards and send them in and share them. Um, we do ask that you keep the card blank so that whoever receives your card can send it on and bless somebody else. And please include a return postage stamp. You don't need to provide envelopes because all of that is taken care of. It's actually easier for me to have all the envelopes be consistent and the way I do all the addresses and stuff like that. It's easier for me to just deal with consistent envelopes. So that's it. Send a card, see them all, get one back. If you'd like to send one in, you can send to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. The theme for March is animals. And the theme for April, I'm announcing for the first time, is nature. So that's going to include weather, landscape, trees. You could do flowers again if you want to, but I would love to see something else related to nature since we did flowers for February. So very kind of loose theme. I know you're going to come up with some beautiful things. I did see that Sue's tuning in from Australia. Hello there. And Carol from Canada. I'm so glad you guys are joining us. I want to let you know that I do have a link in the video description. If you are international and outside of the United States, you can still participate in the Great Big Card Swap. You will not be able to include a return postage stamp because the postage that you can buy in your country won't work for me to mail it back to you. Um, so for $5 USD, you can purchase three um, international stamps for me to send the cards back to you. So you can still send cards in. In fact, we've got at least one card in here from Ellen in Canada. And we've also had um, a swapper from France participate. So you may choose to send your card in advance so that we don't have any, you know, delays with postal delivery. Um, but that, that is an option for you. So check that link in the video description for the PayPal button to get the international return postage stamps. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Melissa says she's watching on her TV tonight. This is so exciting. Well, Melissa, I know you've got at least one card in here. I feel like maybe two cards. I'm going to just jump right in and share with you. I'm so glad that you guys are all joining me today. So if you see something that you love, leave a comment. I would love to see your encouraging words to other swappers. Let them know that you love their card. Let them know what you love about their card. Um, I hope that you're inspired to create after seeing the cards tonight. And I also hope that you're inspired to participate and send it in a card next time. Leave a comment right now. Give me Give me a thumbs up if you have a card in this box. <laughs> Did you send in a card this month? Um, I cannot wait. Let's just dig right in. So the first set of cards, I tried to kind of organize them a little bit. The first set of cards I'm going to share with you are using some of the Celebration products. And you can get these for free um, during Celebration, which ends next week on February 28th. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times if you've been watching my videos. I've been talking about it <laughs> for the last eight weeks. Um, so there are many different options you can choose from. One of them is the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Paper, which I'm going to show you first. Then we've got Simply Marvelous Paper, the Sunshine 
and rainbows paper, a few stamp sets, including the awesome otters, which is going to be perfect for making cards next month. Um, and then there's some that are the $100 level. And I actually do have a couple cards using the friendly hello bundle. So if you haven't already picked out your favorite celebration gifts and gotten them, you can still do it in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop and choose a free gift with your qualifying order. So the first set of cards are all using the daffodil afternoon designer paper. This is a 12 by 12 paper. And um, I'm going to show you after I get through these cards, I'm going to show you I've got a class coming up on Friday using this daffodil afternoon designer paper. And so if you love the look of this paper, you're definitely going to want to tune in for that class with five new ideas using the daffodil paper. So this first card is from Kathy Deck, and she said she used the many messages. I love this stamp. It's one great big stamp, and then it has a die that die cuts all of the different um, little sentiments. So it's such a great little bundle, especially for making cards with designer paper. I'm not sure how well you can see them, but we have some little brass butterflies on this card as well. This paper is so pretty, and it makes it so easy to make quick and easy cards. Kathy, thank you so much for sharing this awesome card with us. Next up, we've got the same designer paper. This one's from Myrtle Thorne, and she created, I think it's called... Um, oh, a Bay Window card. <laughs> I, was I was having a little... A uh, little brain lapse. Okay, so it's set up so that you have this piece is on dimensionals and that tucks in there like that to be sort of that shape of a bay window. Do you have a bay window in your house? I love this kind of fun uh, shape for an easel card. So Myrtle included a blank label that you can stamp your sentiment on. So you can customize this for whatever sentiment or whatever greeting you have coming up. I'm going to tuck that in there. Hopefully it will not get lost on its way to one of you. Oh my goodness. Here's an awesome card from Maya Galantine. I love these one inch strips. Actually, I think this might be three quarter inch strips um, of the designer paper showing off so many of the different patterns. And then this beautiful detail die cut. Let's see if she says encircled in friendship bundle. So that's the, the die set and the stamp that goes inside. In a world where you can be anything, Thank you for being kind. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. What a beautiful card, Maya. We've got a little bit of sparkle. I'm not sure how that comes across on camera. And then the embossing folder back here is the ornate flowers. Little designer paper on the inside. So beautiful. I feel like it's just too easy to make cards with this gorgeous paper. Here's another one from Maya and she used um, the basic border dies to create the stitched, um, the stitched border here with another pattern from the daffodil afternoon designer paper showing off at the top. These are the moments we'll look back at with joy. Oh my goodness. I love this. I love this. I just love this paper so much. <laughs> oh, this is a fun one. This is from Tabitha Lawson. And so this is a pear pizzazz card base. And when you open it up, there's another card inside, which is on like very vanilla. And so we've got that paper. So you can see through the window and then you open it up and you can see that whole paper. I love that. She said she saw a card like this and changed it up a little bit. I case cards all the time. So I'm so excited to see your version of this idea. Tabitha and I just might have to case it too. <laughs> um, next up another fun fold. This one's from Julie Ann Wilson and she has a little tab that folds up and then the card opens like normal. Oh my goodness. I love this. This is one of my favorite patterns from the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Paper. The Daffodil um, Daydream Bundle is what coordinates with the designer paper. So you can get that in the January through June mini catalog. The butterfly is in that stamp set too. What a fun card, Julie. Thank you so much for sharing that. Here's one with the curtain fold card. This one's from Carmen Miyoshi and she did the curtain fold here and then and use that same bundle, the Daffodil Afternoon. I love this stamp with the border. Easter blessings. Oh my goodness, I love it. She doesn't give measurements here, but pretty much if you just score like every, um, I, you know what, I'm gonna link to a video. I have another video where I did a curtain fold. It's slightly different measurements, maybe not as many folds, but I'll put that in the video description so you guys can check it out. If you haven't tried the curtain fold card, it's so uh, such a great way to show off designer paper and kind of add something fun to your card. Awesome, awesome card, Carmen. All right, next up is a card from Rosemary McDougall. This also is a pattern in that daffodil designer paper. And it looks like we have, I'm just trying to see if she folded it over. I think this is just, it's a different pattern. So 
two pieces. This one's three inches, and this is one and a quarter inch. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Um, I see Louise's comment about it being out of focus. I hope that is not a continuing issue. This is this is the problem that we had another time when I was live, and this is why I stopped doing them live, because the camera was having so many issues. So hopefully it will not continue. Um, <laughs> so this is, um, we have the designer paper and then the, the bow punch. And I love these little flowers as well. I think they're not stamping up flowers. Spring is here. I'm so ready. I'm so ready for spring, aren't you guys? Okay, next up is a few cards using the Friendly Hello Bundle. This is also a celebration gift item. Uh, it has a stamp set and then a coordinating designer paper pack. The paper is 12 by 12. Um, and the whole thing together is uh, one bundle. So it's with a $100 order, you can choose the Friendly Hello Bundle. So all three of these cards were made using the stamp set and the coordinating paper. I love this Fresh Freesia color so beautiful in the paper really simply stamped here this one is from jerry rosser and um i love that sentiment too just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way mm, i love it so happy okay i'm getting some comments that it looks good so hopefully fingers crossed uh we'll be good for the rest of the broadcast all right next up is another card from julie ann wilson it came like this in the envelope but it has like another score line here and i was trying to figure out if there was like a a special way to open it that I wasn't figuring out. I don't know. I love all the different panels here with the stamped image, the designer paper, the embossing folder. I just think it's so much fun. So however, how, I hope I opened it the right way <laughs> and that I didn't miss anything fun. Uh, Julie, if you're watching, you'll have to let us know if there's something I'm missing about this card and I can always pull it back out. Um, all right. Oh, this is a fun card. This one is from Yolanda Garza and we have sort of a diagonal fold. So this folds up and over and then this one goes down. You can see a lot of the different designer paper patterns here from the Friendly Hello set. So many beautiful colors, very springy. I just love that so much. Hope you have the best birthday. That's a sentiment that comes in the Friendly Hello set as well. Okay, we have a few more using celebration goodies. I'm gonna share those next. This one is from Chris McQuaid and Chris sent me a bonus card. Oh my gosh, I love it when you guys do that. I'm so excited to be able to keep an extra one. And I have to show you this awesome envelope. Do you guys do envelope art? This is the envelope that Chris sent the cards in. And I just love this, how you did my name in the background like that and the cute little, I'm assuming doodles. I think envelope art is so much fun. My sister does a lot of it and I... I wish that I did more. Like, I just never take the time to doodle and draw in the envelope. But it is so much fun from the very, like, beginning to see something fun on the envelope. So I hope that you guys are dressing up your envelopes. Whether you're doing something fun with the address or adding a stamped image or a little bit of designer paper or something, I would love for you to leave a comment and let me know how you dress up the envelopes when you send cards. Okay, so here's Chris's fun card. It opens up and then it has a little fold out like that. Isn't that cool? We've got a little pattern party designer paper. This is from the annual catalog. It's a host gift. And then the van is from the driving by stamp set, which is a celebration gift option. I love this effect here. This whole thing, I believe, has been um, a stencil that uh, probably Chris used blending brushes to color. And I just think it looks so incredible to sort of make your own pattern paper. I love how it coordinates with the pattern party paper. This is such a fun card. Chris, thank you so much for sending this in. I know someone's going to be really excited to get this fun card card. Oh my goodness. Look at this one. Another fun fold card. This one is from Ellen Arsenault and she is from Canada. Oh my gosh, I love it. She says she saw this on Jan B's um, blog. She is a UK Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I actually have a video for this tower card as well and I've put the link in the video description so if you haven't seen that yet make sure to check it out. This one is so much fun. We've got the beautiful Nature's Harvest stamp set and then I don't know how well you can see the designer paper is the Simply Marvelous designer paper which is a celebration gift option. This is so beautifully decorated Ellen. I just love it so much. On the back we have a little bit of space here in the center to be able to write a message. 
and I'm going to put um, I'm going to put Jan's or Ellen's note right back in there for the person who receives this card. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh my gosh, you guys always outdo yourselves so much. Here is a fun card from Sharon Roland. This is an easel card, so it is. It has. I'm trying to think how to describe this. Okay, so we have a card front. The card front is scored in half. And then on the card base, there is a card front. So like this piece is glued onto the card front, which is scored there. So no glue back here. So if that makes sense, then you can open it up and prop it up on this, which is on Stampin' Dimensionals. Isn't this gorgeous? This uses the Calming Camellia stamp set, which is a celebration gift when you have an order over $300 or host a party over $300 during celebration. So this stamp set is only available for one more week. She paired it up with the gorgeous, simply marvelous designer paper in the purple. Oh my goodness. I just love this stamp. <laughs> we have some brushed butterflies, brushed Brass butterflies, that's a tongue twister, <laughs> to embellish this gorgeous card. Oh my gosh, I love it so much, Sharon. So beautiful. Here's another card using the Call Me Camellia. And this has got just a simple Z fold that I always think that even doing a fun, simple, fun fold like this just like really makes the card pop. This one is from Jeanette. Oh, Jeanette, I like looked at your envelope and I was trying to practice your name. Okay, so let's see. I feel like it looks like, um, like Janica. So pro Oh, pro I, I don't think it's pro Aniki, but maybe it is. Okay, Jeanette, I'm sorry. I hope that I did not butcher it and one of those attempts was correct. And if it wasn't, please <laughs> let me know. If you want to include, if you have a, a difficult last name, please include a little pronunciation key so that I don't butcher it on camera. That is like my biggest anxiety with doing the Great Big Card Swap Showcase is butchering your last names. Oh my goodness. I always give it I always give it my best shot. Okay, more stuff. I, I put all the newer Stampin' Up! products here at the front of the, the showcase because I was just so excited to see all the new products. So the next little bit of cards, these four, use the Flowering Fields designer paper. This is a new 12 by 12 paper that's in the January through June mini catalog. And this one is from Wendy Langseth, which I think it's Wendy's first time swapping. So yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is Oh, from Alaska. Oh my gosh. I bet you're wishing for some flowers right now instead of all that snow, Wendy. Thank you for this beautiful card. This Thinking of You stamp, I recognize it. I can't remember the name of the stamp set, but it was one of my favorites. I love the mixed font and the size is so perfect. Oh, this card could be sent for so many different occasions. Wendy, thank you so much for your beautiful card. I'm so happy that you are participating in the great big card swap. Next up is one from Eva White and she's using that same uh, flowering fields designer paper. I love the different strips and then so she's glued them down on the paper and then run them through can you tell it's the subtle texture embossing folder I love that so it kind of looks like they're embedded in there because the paper went on before the embossing folder so so beautiful oh, <laughs> oh I hope you're enjoying your day today Eva thank you so much for this sunny bright card you guys I'm so ready for spring <laughs> we had some warmer temperatures here in central Illinois it was like 60 degrees and now it's getting cold again and <laughs> boo boo winter next up is a card from Kathy Cornea and again just like sometimes these little fun folds just make a card so unique and special so this one has it's like an off-center gate fold right so it doesn't um it doesn't go all the way to the center and then we have a little bit of that flowering fields designer paper and the beautiful tulip she said she cased this one from lisa freeman um Fun fold. I think that's just what it says, Kathy. Um, oh my gosh, so beautiful. Fresh Freesia, Highland Heather, and some soft succulent are the colors on this card. So beautiful. I'm, I just see I'm missing a few of your comments. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I have to make a, an effort to look because they don't last on my screen very long. They, like, they go. Myrtle, I did see your card. Did we show it already? We might have shown it already, Myrtle. Um, Yes, in fact, 
<laughs> if you just joined us, you'll have to watch the replay to, to see Myrtle's card. That was so fun with the bay window. Okay, this one is from Anne Hansen. Oh, more flowering fields. I just love this combination. The red with the pink polka dots is the uh, an opposite side of the paper. This polka dot ribbon was some of my favorite, as was this uh, label punch. Happy Mother's Day. So beautiful. Uh, Anne's got her address in there. So if you, if you get her card and want to uh, exchange cards with her, I love that you guys are doing that sometimes when you get um your swap cards your um you swap cards with each other and i just think that's so much fun so if you would if you would like to reach out and make a swapping friend you're welcome to include a note inside your card just as always we say you know don't write inside the card just put it on a post-it note or a loose paper so that whoever um gets the card can reuse it and send it on oh goodness look at these beautiful cards you guys Sharon Roland made this one I love this grassy grove this is also an easel card so we just had another easel card and this is the same concept but instead of being a long card that's scored in half this is um, a short card that's scored in half the other way so same concept here scored in half and then a card front that goes on top and then you fold it up and it goes on to an element that has stamp and dimensionals isn't this just beautiful sometimes you need to know that someone really cares in the background here we have the um, new horizons designer paper which is gorgeous and going to be so perfect for our april theme of nature so if you are sending cards in for the April Great Big Card Swap, the theme is nature. And so this would be a perfect card for that. I just love that. We want to see some landscape or weather cards or, you know, trees, leaves. You could send in flowers again if you want because that's nature. Um, but any anything along those lines, I'm going to be... We're going to get some awesome cards. Oh, this one is from Mercy Ermakoff, and she used the Daffodil Daydream Stamp Saw. I love the way she colored these flowers. Just so gorgeous. A little bit of that Daffodil Afternoon Designer Paper, and then this fun little trellis. That's part of the Daffodil Afternoon Designer, or the Afternoon Daydream, ugh. Daffodil Daydream Bundle, the gingham embossing folder. I'm really kind of hooked on that one. I feel like it can go with so many different things. Um, just a card to say you're amazing. Oh, I love it, Mercy. Thank you so much for this bright and sunny card. Okay, we're still chugging along. We've got some more gorgeous cards to share with you trying to keep everything nice and organized so I don't have a mess on my desk. This bundle is brand new. It is called da -da -da -da, Dahlia Days and it has this beautiful detailed die as well as stamps and coordinating. Um, look at this one. This label and the flowers are all part of one. This one is from Maya Galantine. Oh my goodness, just so gorgeous. I love it. A little bit of twine and some sparkle pearls in there as well. Oh, butterfly gems, pearl, white twine, and then um, she didn't write the embossing folder, but this looks like, oh gosh, it looks like macrame. It's in the annual catalog. I'm gonna, <laughs> no, it's going to bother me if I don't look it up really quick. Let's just take a quick, a quick gander. I love embossing folders. I was considering that for one of our themes, and I still might do that um maybe for may okay um ba -ba -ba -ba. macrame hey i was right that one right there it's so pretty i feel like it adds a lot of texture okay here's another card um from molly jubert and she also used the same bundle so this is that dahlia days bundle and this also is like an easel card so this one has the card front it just has a frame cut in the center so the frame is cut in the center of this and the card base and then they're lined up and then this can sit up on that easel part there isn't this gorgeous? Sending you lots of love. The colors here are so beautiful. Highland Heather Soft Sea Foam and then some of the Blackberry Bliss. Maybe a little Rich Razzleberry in there as well. And oh, I do see some like Blushing Bride. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And some splatters of Wink of Stella. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. Molly, thank you so much for sending in that card. Oh, this one is a dream. Fresh Freesia card. This one's from Lori Sorrells. And she's using the um, in color designer paper. And then we have the color and contour. No, no, this is the hand, um, hand penned floral. 
stamp set, uh, which is a two-step stamp set. So there's the outline and then the stamp of the flowers and then this gorgeous little stitched border. I just love everything about this and a little stamp on the inside. So pretty, Lori. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys, like, I just feel like your cards just outdo each other. Like, <laughs> they're all so, so beautiful. You guys always just knock it out of the park. Okay, here's one from Alora Weaver, and she used the um, uh, Expressions in Ink designer paper. Wow, wow, wow. So this is a five and a quarter by 12 inch designer paper scored every four inches, so four and eight inches. And then we've got the um, die cut and stamped images and the white piece to write your message on. Just so much fun. Oh my gosh. I love it, Alora. She did include a um, <laughs> a coordinating envelope. Usually I say don't include the coordinating envelope unless you have an odd size card. Um, but since she included it, I can't discard it. So whoever gets that card, I'll send it off together so you guys can get that. Uh, next up is a card from Carrie Radin. Radon. Um, this is Carrie's first card swap, I think, or first great big card swap. Oh my gosh, I love this. I forgot the name of the bundle. This is also in the annual catalog, and it's one of those hybrid bundle dies that embosses and die cuts at the same time. So beautiful. She's stamped and then done the embossing and die cutting and then colored as well, added some Wink of Stella on there. This coordinating designer paper pattern is from the Pattern Party host pack that you can get and the flowers are the same design. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I love this so much and red is one of my favorite colors. You guys, I just wanna keep all your cards. All your cards, I wanna keep them all for myself. That's not the way this works. Look at this one. This is from Pat Nimmo. Pat, I think that's right. Your, your um, address label just had your husband's name on it. And so I hope I didn't mess up with your name. I'm sorry. Uh, this is the Pansy, Detail Pansy die cuts, the dies. And then look at that glitter paper. This is the Bedazzled, does that, or Bedazzled Glitter Paper. That was a celebration gift last year, uh, or maybe it was in the fall. Um, and so she has die cut the glitter paper and also colored the glitter paper. You can do that with Stampin' Blends to customize it. This one is just wow. Just wow, 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 wow. So gorgeous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I opened this up and it took my breath away. It's so beautiful. Oh, you guys, this one's from Debbie Bustle. And she has used the um, the it, All Squared Away bundle, I think is what it's called. Yes, I'm looking at her. No, All Squared Away bundle. And um, so this one has the little square dies as well as the stamp that goes underneath it. And this one is going to be on sale next month, starting in March. And I cannot wait. Um, I haven't gotten this one yet. I've been like on the verge. So I think you guys are convincing me with all your beautiful cards. Mom shared one recently too that I just love. So all squared away. If you've been thinking about this one, there's like 10 bundles that are gonna be on sale starting March 1st, along with the mini Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine will also be 20% off. So I'm really excited about March. I mean, I'm excited about Celebration, but there's some fun things coming up in March too that you're not gonna wanna miss. Awesome card, Debbie. Thank you so much for the inspiration. Here's one from Betty Chang. I think this might be Betty's first time with a great big card swap. This is the Nature's Harvest stamp set in the wood grain embossing folder. We got a little book binding card here with that, it um, looks like three quarter inch uh, fold. I just love that so much. And the Bumblebee and Basic Black. Such a great card. Oh, Betty, thank you so much for participating in the great big card swap. I love black and white with a pop of color. And we got a lot of pop of color going on this card. This one's from Tori Strolley. And she used the... Um, Oh, I'm trying to think which paper this is. We've had so many different black and white papers. In fact, there's one right now called the All Together Paper as part of the new All Together Suite collection. And so this might be that. I can't remember. But there's also black and white patterns in the host, the pattern party for the host. So anyway, you just grab whatever black and white paper you have at home and add some of these gorgeous stitched flower dies in any pop of color, whatever is your favorite. And you're going to just have a recipe for a beautiful card. This is Awesome. So much, Tori. Thank you so much <laughs> for sending this in. I just love those bright colors. Oh, 
and bright colors and then shiny colors. Like, <laughs> I love them all. Teresa Strickland sent this one in. And, and Teresa, I can't remember. I think maybe you've done another one of the great big card swap. We've got the scallop contours with this beautiful pink uh, foil paper. And then this other foil paper, I can't remember the name of it, was in, it was a celebration offering a couple years ago. So beautiful. The Forever Blossom is still in the annual catalog. You can get that if you love it. It coordinates so beautifully with this paper. May your birthday be as special as as you are rose gold oh yeah from amazon flower flowering foils that's the name of the designer paper oh my goodness so beautiful teresa thank you thank you thank you for sending that in you guys just knocked out of the park oh this is the same stamp isn't it amazing how just coloring it different makes it look so so different this is from kathy trebenbach I hope I got that right, Tree Benbach. I love it. Thank you so much for including the pronunciation key. This is so fun. This laser cut card base is um, from Stampin' Up. They had it a couple years ago in the annual catalog. It came in a beautiful tin. And then the Forever Blossom. So beautiful. Oh, Kathy, thanks so much. I'm so glad that you participated in a great big card swap and sent in your gorgeous card. Oh, next up is one from Jerry Stringer. And she's using some brand new products here we've got this um abstract beauty designer paper along with the flowing flowers stamp set isn't this sentiment the best sending a card and send instead of a text i love it jerry 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 oh my goodness thank you so much for sending this beautiful card so many special touches on here too little wink of stella and the rhinestones and this ribbon is one of my favorite this is the um seam binding the white crinkled seam binding Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, oh my gosh. I know I'm catching up on your comments again. You guys are so awesome. I'm so glad so many of you are tuning in tonight because there are just so many inspiring cards. All right, let's just keep going. This one is from Rose Spivey and she's used the coloring contour stamp set along with some of the um, hand pens. Uh, beautifully penned designer paper which was a celebration gift option in the fall uh, love the frame here with the scallop contour dies so fun with these bright colors too rose I just love it uh, love poppy parade and some highland heather and so saffron just gorgeous oh this was a good theme <laughs> next up is one from Karen um, Gondon. Hopefully I've said that right, Karen. She's a, she's a first time swapper. Yay, Karen. Oh my gosh. Look at this detail of those gorgeous dyes. This bundle is in the annual catalog. So it has two, maybe even three different dyes. This is two. So we have the white outline and then the detail underneath. Isn't that just gorgeous it's so gorgeous with the polished pink and the white and then the embossing folder on there too hoping your day is full of love laughter and joy oh my goodness thank you so much karen for sending in that gorgeous card oh each one is so much beautiful like it's not not more beautiful than the next equally as beautiful and uniquely different and gorgeous this one's from cindy peckett and I just love this. She said she tried something new. Um, she used, let's see, what did she say she used? She used um, the pen, oh, the Versamark pen, which is something that Stampin' Up! used to sell. She used the Versamark pen on the marble paper and then tried to do some gold leafing on it. And she said it didn't quite work the way she wanted to, but I just think it's so beautiful having that little touch in there. Um, these detailed dies were a celebration gift option um, last year, and they're just so beautiful the way they layer together. And then the scallop contour dies layered here with the rose gold, um, well, this is gold, gold and rose gold, the um, <sighs> brushed, is it brushed golds? Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful, the texture on there. And it, it picks up the gold flecks on the die cut flowers. Just so beautiful. Some friendships are just meant to be. Oh my gosh, Cindy, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, oh, these dahlias. Mm -mm. Ann Schillinger sent in this card using the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. This was one that was in the catalog last year. If you like the distinctive stamps, make sure you check out the Island Vibes stamp set um, in this year's celebration offering. Or if you're looking for similar stamps, the Flowing Flowers in the January through June catalog has some gorgeous distinctive um, blossoms in there. So pretty. Oh my gosh, Anne, I just love it. 
This designer paper is from the All Together collection, I think. Um, it has black and white patterns, including some leaves like this one that you can color in. Um, next up is a card from, I don't know. I don't know who this card is from. If this is your card, please let me know. Um, I, I don't remember opening the envelope, but I must have opened the envelope. And when I came to put names on it today, this is how the envelope was. Um, so somebody who's near Springfield, Missouri, and I'm missing your return address. Like I said, it must have been me who opened it, but I don't know where the other part of this envelope went to. Um, so mystery stamper, <laughs> let me know so I can send you a card back. Um, this is the drawing a blank all of a sudden. Uh, and no note inside either. Sending times. What is the name of this one? Um, oh, I'm just going to have to look it up. This was something that we could order early, and then it came out in the mini catalog, and it is called... Bup, 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 bup. You guys might think of it faster, huh? <laughs> Eden's Garden. <laughs> um, Eden's Garden, and... <laughs> Inika, I'm seeing your note about the address. So let me bring that, let me bring this back out here. Um, okay, so quick commercial break. My address to send swap cards to is Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. I guess I could have showed you that right there. <laughs> um, the theme for March is animals. The theme for um, April is nature. If you are an international stamper and you want to participate, check this video description right now. There's a link to a PayPal button um, for three international return postage stamps. So you can participate. I would love to see your cards. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys are so good answering each other's questions. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm not seeing all of these uh, these these comments. So if I've missed a question and nobody else is answering, I will definitely go back and try to answer afterwards. Okay, so Mystery Stamper, let us know if this was your card so I can send you a return card. This is using the Eden's Garden Bundle. So beautiful with the um, evening evergreen and the gold. Just, just gorgeous. I love that. I wish I knew who that was from, though. So let me know, and um, and we'll get a return card to you. Um, okay, next up is Diana Barber. And this one is the name that I can't remember. <laughs> oh, maybe she's got it in here. Um... I'm, I'm not sure the name of the stamp set. It's from the annual catalog. It's still in there. Something flowers. <laughs> summer. Something summer. Shaded summer? I think it might be shaded summer. Uh, I love this fun fold with the designer paper. We've got a flap on the bottom and a flap on the top. Fold them in um, to create these triangle flaps. This is just so much fun. And black and white. I feel like you cannot go wrong with black and white. So, so beautiful. Love the little bow on there as well. Uh, Diana, thank you so much for sending that in. And just as classic as black and white, we have navy and white. Isn't this gorgeous? This one is from Terry Biggs. She said she used, uh, what's the name? Friendly Flamingo. Um, like I recognize the stamp and I just couldn't put my finger on it because the stamp set mostly is the flamingo and then it also has this flower set. So a night of navy and white. Hope your day is amazing. Oh, Terry, thank you so much also for sending an extra one for me. I always love it so much and I'm so tickled when you guys do that. So never expected, but always appreciated. Thank you, Terry. All right, next up. Oh my goodness. This is a blast from the past. This one from D Chamberlain. Um, and I remember this stamp I think it was part of a celebration stamp set and I definitely remember some of this ribbon and these clips oh my gosh and I think this actually was a wheel in the background that is so fun and this purple color oh my gosh it was an in color um mm, 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 mm. it's on the tip of my tongue I can't remember. So gorgeous. Mossy Meadow used to be one of my favorite colors. And then um, always artichoke. Oh my gosh, what a blast from the past. I've been a demonstrator for 20 years. And so I love seeing some of these cards that use 
things that I, I loved and used many years ago. What a great card, Dee. Thank you so much for that uh, trip down memory lane. Um, and Amanda Hincamper sent in two cards. This is using the August Paper Pumpkin. I loved these little die cuts. This is the Hope Box Paper Pumpkin, and I think that it's still in the online store. So if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can get past kits like the Hope Box Kit and create projects. So if you see some old kits that you really love and would like to have, check out the online store, juliedavison.com. There's a whole section for Paper Pumpkin, and there's a section in that section that has past kits and refills. Mm, love it, Amanda. Thank you so much for sharing those cards. Perfect for our theme. Uh, the next two cards are from Mesa. Mesa Sama, and she sent in two and said that I can choose one. She was inspired by a card recently shared by Lisa Curcio. Um, oh, I, I discarded your note, um, Mesa. I'm not, I can't remember what the name of this fold is, but I know Lisa recently shared that on her blog. I just love it. It's like a book binding fold, and then we have like it pops out and has kind of a, a floor in there. I love also how she's stamped on the inside. Mesa, thank you so much for sending an extra one for me. They're so beautiful. And this was some of my favorite designer paper that was a couple years ago in the catalog. I just love the bright colors. Mm, mm, mm. You guys are so talented. You're so talented. Thank you so much for sending all these beautiful cards and sharing with all of us. Okay, next up is a card from Dee Chamberlain. This looks like Wisteria Wonder. Another in color that I love so much. You're in my thoughts. A little bit of Winkastella on those flowers. There's always room for Winkastella, isn't there? <laughs> oh, I love it. Great layout, too. Next up is a card from Nancy. Oh. I was practicing your name too, Nancy. And there's another card where I put the pronunciation key. Oh. Isn't there? Am I losing my mind? Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. I might be losing my mind. Oh. I swear I remember seeing something with your name. Okay, I'm going to set it aside for right now, and we're going to come back to it because I'm pretty sure there's a second card, and I don't want to mess up your last name. Okay, next card. There it is. It's right next to it. Jeez, how did I not see that? Okay, here we go. Nancy D. D. Jill or, or Mo. D. D. Jill or Mo. Did I say that right, Nancy? Thank you for including the pronunciation. Both of your cards are gorgeous. <laughs> this one uses the retired petite petals and punch. I loved this punch and I loved this stamp set. These fun colors were all um, in colors. I believe we've got just the Blackberry Bliss and um, this blue, I wanna say buckaroo blue, but I don't think that's right. Mossy Meadow and Tangerine Tango. And then the yellow, Weren't they all in colors together? They look so gorgeous together. Uh, Nancy, just gorgeous cards. And then this one is using the Magnolia Lane. I recognize this layout as one from my Double Wonder class. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. So much fun. And this paper was one of my favorites. Nancy, thank you so much for sending both your cards in. I enjoyed your message as well inside uh, the letter that you sent. Uh, and I'm so happy that you're participating in the swap. And I can't wait for you to get two awesome cards right back. This one is from Trina Hillegas. And <laughs> I have to share a story with you. She she wrote a message and she said, hello, fellow stampers. She and a friend got together and made a couple cards for this month. And Trina did not put her name in the note and she did not put her name on the envelope, <laughs> but I recognized her handwriting. <laughs> so I sent her a message and I said, hey, is this one yours? I just love this Paisley. This designer paper is a retired bundle and a paper set from the catalog, but I just think it's so beautiful. Cajun craze and then a little bit of this... Uh, Oh my gosh, what is it? Like, I want to say mustard. There was, there was a, a paper that we had. It's retired now. Mint macaron here in the navy. So beautiful. My world is brighter and more beautiful because of you. Oh, I love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm missing your comments, and I do apologize so much. Um, 
<laughs> Carolyn, I'm so, more mustard. Was that more mustard? It might have been. Didn't we have another ink color that was that that mustardy color? Um, Carolyn, I'm so happy that you're uh, joining us live. Usually I pre-record the great big swap videos, but um, I ran out of time today, and so you, it was live or nothing. <laughs> this one is from Melissa Perry, and we've got this fun, look at that. It has like a little gatefold and then a little pop-up. Can you see that construction there? There's like just a little um, tab that makes that cactus cacti um pop up when it opened up and isn't that sunset gorgeous oh my gosh I love all the blending it's just so beautiful Melissa says the only flowers are on the embossed panels in the front and she said she made them to look like tooled leather oh my gosh that's so beautiful so to get this look you want to ink up your embossing folder before you put your cardstock in it and then run it through and so the ink goes in between the embossed image. So gorgeous. Wow. 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 <laughs> you guys just do outdo yourselves every single month, I swear. Oh, here's a beautiful card from Sandy Almond. Sandy's from um, Canada as well, and she used the retired Hydrangea Haven designer paper. Um, so beautiful. And then this is from um, another paper, True Love, I think was the, the black and white paper. I just love all the elements here. We've got the detailed die cut here from the hand pen floral bundle and some of the pastel pearls, which are still in the catalog. Oh, I love this on the inside too. It is just so, so sweet. Sandy, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful card. This tasteful textile is one of my favorite embossing folders. I feel like it just goes with everything. Gorgeous. Oh, next up is a card from Melinda de Ruin. This plaid tidings paper is the bomb. I love it here with a large daisy, and we've got this gorgeous uh, faceted gem in the middle with deepest sympathy. Mm. That's so perfect. Praying for friends to comfort you, faith to uphold you, and loving memories to heal your heart. What a great card. I love sometimes we think about sympathy cards as needing to be, you know, dark or reserved, but I love that this one is bright and cheerful. I hate to say cheerful for a sympathy card, but I feel like you can still have, you know, bright, colorful cards um, to bring a little sunshine, right, into the house, especially when someone needs it the most. So this just makes me so happy because I know that someone is going to get this card um, in a dark day and have a little bright spot of sunshine. Melinda, thank you for creating such a beautiful card and sharing with us. Um, next up is a card from Melissa Perry. Another one here. Oh my gosh, we've got that beautiful friendship stamp set. I loved that flower set there with the two step. It looks like we got some other stamps in there as well. The bumblebees and the lace. So beautiful. Dear friend. Oh, she's got a whole list for us. Okay. Beauty of friendship yep I saw that one very vintage this is like a um where's Waldo <laughs> can we find all the stamp images and then the delicate Dahlia stamps that she used that as well um Calypso Coral Bumblebee Blushing Bride Soft Suede Mint Macaron Pear Possessed Smoky Slate Crumb Cake Highland Heather oh such a beautiful card oh look at the inside I love those corners it looks like maybe it was punched so beautiful. Melissa, thank you for sharing that gorgeous card. Someone's going to love getting that and being able to send it on to a friend. You guys, we're getting close to the end of our stack of cards here. We have some more retired Stampin' Up! beauties. Here's one from Tony Lee Antoinette. Um, and she said she saw a similar card from Sandy G on Pinterest and loved the bright orange flowers. She used the Flower Shop stamp set and the Petite Petals. Uh, grapefruit Grove, she thinks she used, along with um, some, oh, what is that bright color? Shaded Spruce? No, 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 uh, Emerald Envy. Ooh, this does make me happy. I love the little sequins here in the center of the flowers, too. Mm, I love flower punches. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's so easy to make beautiful cards with that. Thank you so much, Tony, for sending in that awesome card. Next up is one from Barb Apke. She used the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. This was one from Celebration last year. So if you missed it, you definitely don't want to miss any future celebration things. So if you have any that you've got your eye on, make sure you get them because like this delicate dahlia, you'll be sad if you missed out on it. I love the simple colors here. The bright daffodil delay and white. You inspire me. Mm, 
Oh, Barb, I do love that so much. You inspire me. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful, clean and simple card with us. Mm, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to think what other flowers I can do that with. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh, look at this one. This is from Doreen Sanders. And I love the way she cut this designer paper into pieces and then pieced it back together. It's such, a, um, such an effective color blocking to uh, show off designer paper that is um, busy and bold. This is a nice way to break it up. Just so fun. Oh, and then we got a little designer paper on the inside too. Woo! Doreen, I love it. I'm definitely going to have to do this with some designer paper. We've got some really great ones, um, like the flowering fields. That would be so perfect for this kind of technique. Well, thank you for sharing, Doreen. Next up is a card from Lynn Bitter. And I think, Lynn, this is a first time swap for you for the great big card swap. This is that Dutch door card where you have a flap that goes up and then the little gatefold at the bottom sending you healing vibes. This is the um, heartwarming hugs, something hugs um, stamp set and some retired designer paper. So beautiful with these detailed die cuts as well. Oh my gosh, I love this. I was just making a card with this fold for Project Playback. So if you want to see how to make this Dutch door card, be sure to tune in tomorrow on Wednesday for Project Playback at 7 p.m. Central Time. I will be resharing a video tutorial to make the Dutch door card and sharing a new version of it as well. Mm, mm, mm. Love it. Love it. Love it. And thank you so much for sending that in and sharing. Uh, next up is a card from Evelyn Boswell. Oh, this is fun. You guys, I just realized each of these petals is a heart that's been folded in half to create this amazing flower. Isn't that clever? There are eight far eight oh my gosh eight hearts i'm not sure how the f got in there i wasn't trying to say the other word eight hearts i know folded eight hearts folded in half to make this fun flower oh my gosh i love that and then this little pearl accent in the center really beautiful mm -mm -mm. evelyn i love it what a clever idea and way to think outside the box um sometimes you know hearts we use tend to use around valentine's day and then you know we don't use them after that so i love how that can be used all year round nancy ross created this one. Oh my gosh i love this i think this is a retired stampin up set um with the the fun flower jar and can you see the texture on there she used crystal effects to create this glass look and that's so awesome on the jar i just love that this paper is from the um host pattern party set um i'm i'm trying to see okay mm. <laughs> i'm trying to report that user while i'm live this is interesting um thank you for letting me know um okay <laughs> thank you guys um Oh, <laughs> and it can make you so much. Hey, if you are enjoying this video, please, please, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos like the Project Playback that's coming up tomorrow. Okay, back to this awesome card. Nancy, I love that use of the crystal effects on the jar. That's really beautiful. And it goes so nicely with the designer paper. So soft and pretty for spring. Next up is a card from... Uh, Ross Manzi? Man, man, Manzi. Hopefully I said that right. One crafty mama. I love it. This pearlized paper in the background with the embossing folder is so gorgeous. You are simply wonderful. Love that embossed sentiment in the center. And then these beautifully colored flowers. I didn't ever get this bundle from um, Stampin' Up. I can't remember the name of it, but it is just so fun to color and create beautiful cards with. So, mmm. Thank you so much, Roz, for sending in that beautiful card. Here's one from Tahira Blant, and she used the Plentiful Plants bundle along with some designer paper that has some beautiful black and green and ivory in there. No one deserves a happier birthday than you. Oh, I love the colors and that twine around the pot. Such a beautiful card to hear. Thank you so much for sharing this one. Mm, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Oh, they're just all so gorgeous. Here's one using or from T 
Terry, uh, Carrie Allen. Uh, I know a Terry Allen, so that was a split. <laughs> that was a slip. Carrie sent in this one. First time swabber here from California using the Stampin' Up! Thoughtful Branches. Um, I think that is the... Hmm, which part is the Thoughtful Branches? And the Hydrangea Flower. Maybe the whole thing is the Thoughtful Branches. We have this bundle a while back and it was so beautiful and uh, it had like it could be a flower as well as like a treetop oh my gosh that was one of my favorite bundles I was so sad when that went away sending birthday wishes I love how that center is um got the embossing on it and that's beautiful did you hand cut that oh my goodness Carrie I love it love it love it embossing folder in the background too just gorgeous those colors Awesome. I know, right, Carol? They're so amazing. You guys outdo yourself every month. Here's a card from Christine Almond. Hopefully I got that right. Um, Christine, that's a fun way to spell your name. I love it. And Christine is also a first time great big card swapper. Look at the texture on this card. Oh my gosh. We have this like shimmery pink background that's embossed and then the mother of pearl paper embossed with the magnolia embossing folder and then these layered tags with the gold and the shimmer. Wowzers. This is so gorgeous. And then on the inside, some of that pearlescent paper as well. Wow. 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 I, I feel like the camera is just not doing it justice. This mother of pearl paper is so incredible. You can get that in the January through June mini catalog right now. Um, so if you, if you don't have some yet, you definitely have to get some. Um, Oh, this is so fun. This is from Jake Myers. I love this fun fold that she sends in. And this uses the um, Everything is Rosy designer paper. Isn't that fun? She said she got some of this paper and a paper swap and uh, had to make a card with it. I love the rose gold with the um, Melon Mambo and the Night of Navy. Just so beautiful with those colors. Jake, thank you for sending in this gorgeous card. Oh, love it. Belinda Bosch sent in this one. Heavenly, gorgeous, grape, Highland Heather. Uh, this is the contour and color, or uh, color and color, contour something contour. <laughs> I think it's color and contour. Um, stamp set bundle. And it comes with, the, it's, the stamp set is bundled with the, the contoured rectangle, scalp contour dies. There's so many words, you guys. <laughs> Oh, so, so gorgeous, Belinda. I love how you stamped on the inside and kind of made that like an extra layer. That is really beautiful and just elevates that card so much. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, more cards. This one is from Ross Monzi again. And um, I, I don't remember. I think she had a note that said what stamp this was in it. I don't have it near me, but it's so beautiful. I love how she's stamped at the top and then also has... Um, die cut it to go on the bottom just so beautiful i feel like you could do this with so many different stamp sets where you have this large black and black and white image and then some glittered um glittered sentiment there just beautiful 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 um here is one from mary fudge isn't this fun i love the little telephone paper and the hello die cut and that's got a little like um um uh, dimension to it almost like on foam so fun and then the die cut there as well mary thank you so much for sending in this fun card for the great big card swap next up is another card from jake myers i just this texture you guys are like nailing texture that could be a theme for the great big card swap texture like that could include embossing embossing folders mm, mm, mm. Beautiful in yourself. Believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. Yes! Ability is what you're capable of doing. Motivation determines what you do. Attitude that determines how well you do it. Oh, Jake, thank you. You always have the best sentiments. I love your cards so much. Thank you for sending them in. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Look at this! Oh my gosh, Judy O'Hara sent in this gorgeous card. This is bigger than an average card. So this is probably like five by seven. And this is a gorgeous embossed image on the front and then this like pearlescent coloring. Just stunning with the purple colors. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, Judy. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. 
for sending this in and sharing with us. Oh my gosh. So these, the last few cards that I've been sharing have not used Stampin' Up! products. And so I just want to remind you that you don't have to use um, Stampin' Up! products for the Great Big Card Swap. We always, um, we always love to see your cards with whatever you have at home. Um, I want you to use what you have. Like, <laughs> of course I want you to buy from me. If you want to place an order, you can absolutely do that. But I want you to use what you have. And so if that's not Stampin' Up! or Stampin' Up! or Retired Stampin' Up! Uh, I just want you to be using it and sharing it. So I hope that you send in all your cards, no matter what you use. <laughs> uh, we are going to limit in March to one card per person. Um, and so you can send your cards to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois, 61826. We're almost done. The March theme is animals. The April theme is nature. And so before we wrap up, I have a whole collection of cards from Jennifer Olson. And so uh, there's two categories here. We've got some that have these fun colored images. Aren't those colored so beautifully? Oh my gosh. Looks like watercolor pencils. And I love the look of those flowers. So colored on the paper and then put it on the card. So, so fun. I just... I love that. I used to love coloring, and then I don't know what happened. I stopped loving it. <laughs> these next set of cards, though, you guys are so gorgeous. All of these next cards use an embossing folder. This isn't a Stampin' Up! embossing folder, but I could see doing this with any embossing folder that you have at home. So embossed paper and then colored. Isn't that so beautiful? You can use the blending brushes or the sponge daubers, and so um, just so many different ways. And I could just see Jennifer just spending, like, like hours just coloring and embossing and creating and it just makes me so happy to see these beautiful cards and think about you know all the all the time and detail to to color them this one especially with the different colors on each flower is so pretty oh my goodness I hope that you'll try that technique at home and color like I said we gotta do uh we gotta do an embossing folder theme. I think that would be really gorgeous. This theme was flowers. And if you sent a flower card and you did not see it in the video tonight, um, that's okay. I will still share your cards even if they come late. Our next video showcase will be on the second Tuesday in March, which is March 8th. So we always do showcases on the second and the fourth Tuesday of the month. So March 8th and the 22nd. So any flower cards that I receive between now and March 8th will be shared um, in the video on March 8th and I'll swap the flower cards out with each other and the animal cards out with each other. So if you send in an animal card, you'll get an animal card back. And if you didn't see your flower card tonight, do not worry. I will still share it when it comes. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed all these cards tonight. Thank you to everybody who sent in uh, these gorgeous great big card swaps. If you haven't yet, I hope that you will consider participating. You can send your great big card swaps to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. All of the details are in the video description on this video right now. So click on the little arrow and check it out. Before you do that, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed tonight's video and all of the projects that were shared. Um, I can't wait to share more cards with you. So I will see you again on March 8th for the first part of the March Great Big Card Swap Showcase. Until then, happy stamping. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure to you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our other card making videos. Take care. Bye.